Hello everyone and welcome to part 5 of our 7 part series of all the purchasable plots and buildings in Melanire. Here we are with the Maya. We are not really in a jungle, place, but a place with very green grass, so makes sense. But yes, the Maya, obsessed with stones and pyramids. My pronunciation, as always, is awful, so please take it with a grain of salt. Let's get right into this. Starting out with the smallest plot that you can purchase, we have the Mehen Kuch. For two Argents and about 40 or 64 cobblestone, give or take, this is quite small for a farm that is, but this is easily convertible into a house. Just break the torches and overlap the roof and place some doors here and you've got a house. This is what I did with one of my playthroughs. But if, the, if you only want to buy plots for farming, this isn't the buy for you, but if you want a really cheap Converticut house, then yes, this is the buy for you. Moving on. Moving on to the medium plots of the Maya, the Chumuk Kuch. For 10 Argents, 128 cobble, and one of any wood, same goes for the Mehen Kuch, one of any wood, you can get yourself this sizable plot, and the Mayans were so generous to give us infinite sources of water to place down our farm stuff. Isn't that awesome? But yes, you can easily overlap this to become a house too. Just the cobblestone is a lot. For 10 Argents, this is a very good buy. Especially if you want to make this into a farm, as the water is already included. Moving on. And the last purchasable plot for the Maya is the Noah Kuch. For 32 Argents, requiring 248 stone and one of any wool, you get this very nice looking plot of land, albeit some of it's taken up by stone and water, but with the water, just like the last one, they've left it there for us to start our farm. Isn't that something? These mines and their water, they, they really like it. But either way, this for 32 Argents, this isn't as amazing as the Tres Grand Terrain because Tres Grand Terrain for the Normans is just no nonsense. But this is still worth your buy if you want to make this into a farm or heck, even a house with a tiny little moat. Moving on to the houses. Now, moving on to the houses and probably the only house house for the Maya, the Ixlana. 15 Argents requiring 173 cobblestone, 3 wool, 23 of any wood, and 143 stone. You get yourself this very nice two-story house that has two block that has a two block clearance. Yeah, definitely not a fan. So, you have two chests, two furnaces, and a crafting table. Go up and go up the ladder. And you have another two, two chests, two crafting tables, and your bed is here. Honestly, you can, if you can get past the fact that it has an incredibly low ceiling, this is a very nice house. 15 Argents for a bed, a place for a bed, place to live, place to sleep and all? Yes, please. All right, let's move on to the rest of the houses. I mean, pyramids. And now we are looking at the mid-range pyramid of the Maya, the Shak Mul. For one denier ore, 188 cobblestone, six wool, 1196 stone, 43 of any wood, that's 18.6 stacks of stone by the way, you can get yourself this very nice looking pyramid. It's, I can't even call it a house because it's a pyramid. So let's take a look. It's all made out of stone, stone brick and all. That's pretty cool, pretty nice looking, but let's go inside. Very spacious and very open. This is pretty cool. There, it's not like a maze of corridors to get through. It's just flat out, here it is. But I do not like the lack of windows. Anyways, we have one, two, three, four chests. One, two, three, four crafting tables two furnaces, we have a little place for us to bathe or swim in, and we have a bed. Pretty nice looking place if I do say so myself. I really like the use of all the stone here. Usually a, a whole bunch of stone just looks bad, but this is looking pretty good. Anyways, for two, or not for two, for one denier ore, this is 
definitely worth if you want to set yourself up in a Mayan village, but the stone grind. Just constantly putting it, mining cobblestone, putting it in the furnace. That's what goes for all the Mayan buildings. It's a ridiculous amount of work to get that much stone, and honestly, if the grind is worth it to you, go for it, but if it's not worth it to you, then don't do it. Anyways, on to the final. And now last but certainly not least, the Noah Mul, the Great Pyramid, the best that the Mayans have to offer. This requires four denier ores, 2,051 cobblestone, that's 32 stacks, 633 stone, 88 of any wood, three ornamented gold blocks, and six wool. So let's get right into this. You are already on a pedestal whenever you walk in here. You have your own little place to bathe and or swim in, bathe or swim, whatever you want to do, and the entire exterior is made completely out of stone and cobblestone. The Mayans sure love co stone and cobblestone, and they love pyramids. Up in here, we can see the gold blocks as some sort of a statue or an effigy, I believe. In here, we have a kitchen. We have one, two, three, four, five, six big chests, one crafting table, and four furnaces. Let's move around to the side and go downstairs. Downstairs, it's very cozy, but I don't like the fact that there's no windows. Either way, we have, I do not know what this is, looks like a sacrificial ceremonial altar or something. We are the Maya, after all. But we have one, we have a kitchen area here as well. One, two, three, four furnaces, one, two, three, four chests, and three crafting tables. Let's go around the side. Whoa, another place for us to swim and bathe in? This place is awesome. And in here, you can turn this into whatever you'd like, but do mind the dripping water from the outside pool. And here, we have our bed. And one, two, three, four, five big chests. Anyways, for four denier ores, this, this would seem like the perfect place to be, but it's just that cobblestone grind is real. That cobblestone grind is real and painful. But if you think it's worth it, and you think you can get through it, then by all means. Next up, we are going to be visiting the descendants of the Roman Empire, the Byzantines. Let's strap ourselves in and enjoy. Th and enjoy. Thank y'all for watching. See y'all next time.